It's very important that the driver knows when and how to use the XLS system properly. In this movie you can find instructions that guide you through the process of activating the XLS system as well as repositioning the trailer to a non-XLS trailer. We start with how to activate the XLS system. For the first step we go inside the trailer. Put all 16 ratchets and straps on the trailer floor. Now you can continue and sweep the trailer floor. Now all the 16 ratchets and the straps are put on the floor and the trailer floor is cleaned. We can continue with the next preparation step of the activation process of the XLS system. We start at the outside. The first step of preparing the activation of the XLS system was inside. To achieve maximal result in step 5, it is important that you continue now first outside and release the buckles. Release the 24 buckles on each side of the trailer and release both the curtain tensioners at the rear. After releasing the buckles and the curtain tensioner, step 2 is done. Now we are continuing with the third step of preparation the activation process of the XLS system. Therefore, we have to enter the trailer again. We can continue with the third step. With this step, we are actually going to activate the XLS system. We start with the yellow swing brackets. The trailer fleet has two types yellow swing brackets. Loosen the belts behind them and swing the yellow brackets upwards and lock the belts to each other. You will need to do this 12 times. In order to reach the maximum pre-tension in the curtain, it's important that we go first outside the trailer. Come on, we will show you what to do in step 4 of preparing the XLS system. It's very important to position the curtain pole into the corner post in the correct way. The rear curtain tensioners should be tensioned to the max. Tensioning must be done manually. Pull down the buckle straps and swing down the buckles three times to get the maximum tension on the buckles. You will have to do this 24 times. Now we have tensioned the outside of the curtain to a maximum. We go inside the trailer for actual activating the XLS system. This will be the fifth and final step. Use the four ratchets at the rear and pull the ratchet till you see the green flag is showing on the green area. This way the XLS system reached maximum tension. After unloading the trailer, you always have to deactivate the XLS system. You have to do that regardless of what your next job instructions are. 
In this way, the chance of accidentally loading a non XLS load in a stretch curtain is reduced. That prevents a lot of damage. To deactivate the XLS system to normal condition in three steps. First, we start inside the trailer. Come with me inside the trailer. For the first step, in order to reposition the trailer, we start at the back of the trailer. We first have to release the ratchets. Push the ratchets into the ratchet holders to lock them onto the doors. Now you can release the locks by clicking the red buttons. This has to be done 12 times. Now all four ratchets are in the holders and the locks are released by clicking the red buttons. This way we have released the tension inside of the trailer. After we have done this, we are continuing at the front of the trailer with the second step of repositioning the XLS trailer to non-XLS. Release the four straps at the front and put them in the pocket holders. After this step, the tension of the curtain is released. For the aftercare, you still have to take care of the straps and the ratchets. This will be step 3. Put the 16 straps and ratchets between the curtain and chassis to free space on the floor. Now you can continue and sweep the trailer floor. After the third step, the trailer is repositioned into a normal condition. It is now suitable for all kinds of cargo as a normal curtain sider. And the XLS system parts are safe for potential damages. Let's summarize the steps we took to reposition the trailer to a non-XLS. Pay attention because after the summary you can try it yourself. <laughs>